So far, we've uh, studied integration of uh, numerous functions like the trigonometric functions and power functions and exponential functions, etc. But here we will uh, focus on a general problem of finding a primitive of a function that is rational. So what, what did it mean, a function that is rational? Well, a function is rational if it can be expressed as the quotient of two polynomial functions. So suppose we have px divided by qx, where p is a polynomial of degree n, and uh, q is a polynomial of degree m. So here we will assume, writing this down, we will assume that a n is not equal to zero, so that x to the power n, that n is the highest power of this polynomial p, and uh, similarly, uh, m is the highest degree in the polynomial q. Well, in general, it's uh, it may be quite hard to find uh, a, a primitive, but uh, I will discuss a general approach so that you can uh, at least find the primitive in the easy cases. Well, as a first step, it's always good to reduce the uh, the expression fx. So if uh, the degree of p is larger than that of m, we can use long division to get a different expression for f, so that we may write fx equals sx, some polynomial, s, plus rx divided by qx. So s is a polynomial of degree n minus m. And uh, R is a polynomial uh, which has a degree lower than M. So is uh, R stands for the remainder. So, for example, if we look at a function x to the power 4 divided by x squared minus 1, then we divide x to the power 4 by x squared minus 1, and we use long division. So x squared minus 1 fits x squared times uh, x squared minus 1 in in x squared plus 4. So we get 1 as a remainder term, and we may write uh, x to the power 4 divided by x squared minus 1 as x squared plus 1. So that's the part in blue that we obtain. So this is our function sx, and as a remainder term, so rx equals 1. So there's one remaining which still has to be divided by qx, which equals x squared minus 1. So this is a first step in considering primitives of this general class of functions. And I notice that we can always use long division to make a reduction like this. Yeah, so that's the importance right now.